Hi guys. So, uh, first video in a long time. Lighting is horrible. Hold on. Because I'm in the kitchen of the new house. Um, I just, Christmas has been crazy. I haven't made a video in so, so long. We moved into, doggies are barking. Oh, I adopted a new dog. Y'all haven't seen my new doggie. I'll show him in the end. Um, my puppy's up here. You want to come up? Um, we're, we moved into the new house. Everything's crazy. Um, life. Um, I went shopping and just wanted to show you <laughs> some of the stuff that I got. Oh, the dogs are all over me. Um, I was looking for specifically cowgirl boots. Um, the last cow boots I had, I stole from my father and the heel in them cracked. So I couldn't wear them anymore, of course. Um, I was looking, I didn't want to buy any online because I haven't worn boots in so long. I wanted to make sure they fit well. I didn't know whether to buy black or brown because I wear mostly black. But I do have black Harley Davidson boots that I love the way they look. But Harley Davidson boots are such a weird fit for me. Um, they're so narrow across the pads of my foot. And then I have somewhat of a high arch. So... They end up cutting off the circulation of my toes. So I took them to the shoe maker, the shoe guy, because there are a million of those in New York, which is something they don't have in the South. Um, and he was able to stretch them. So hopefully I actually get them back from him before too long so I can make sure that they actually fit. But anyway, um, I looked and there was this place called Long Island Leather and Boots, and it's right, he's trying to eat a bug, <laughs> it's right um, a few towns away from where we moved, so my husband and I went and did that yesterday, thank God they're open on Sundays, um, and I ended up getting two pairs of boots, I got a black pair and I got a brown pair, um, go get down, oh, he doesn't let me get down. Um, the black pair, I'm wearing them, I'm going to show them to you. The black pair are, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name, hold on. They came in this box, big old box. Uh, the guy ended up giving me a deal, so I'm just going to give, like, uh, approximate, I'm going to tell you the price that's on the box, um, and then you go and see how much he can give you as a discount. But um, the box price says $189.99. Um, it's not fair for me to tell you the discount that I got because he might not do the same or he might give you better. But anyway, these are the boots. Can you see the, the design that's on them? They're beautiful boots. Um, and when I bought them, um, I actually walked out of the store with them on and wore them all day shopping. We went out to eat. We went to a bunch of stores to get Christmas stuff. We went to Lowe's to return some stuff and get some stuff. And I have had no problem wearing them. Um, the heel is padded. I am going to butcher the name if I try to say it out loud, but they're beautiful. Just plain black boots. They're real leather. But look at how soft they are. That's what I love. I, um... They're snip toed, so they've got the great toe. Um, they're just beautiful. I mean, look at them. Aren't they? I love them. Anyway, they're, they're really comfortable. I wore them all day today also. But I've been wearing, I lost my sock. I've been wearing two pairs of socks with them just in case and to help break them in a little bit more. Um, but anyway, I love them. And I'm trying to put it back on while I'm talking on this. Um, the other pair that I bought were tan. And they're a little bit more fancy. They're not like the regular leather. They're shiny. They're, they're leather with a shine. Um, and I think they have, yeah, they have a different design. I love the boots. Here they are. 
These are my going out boots, so the boots that I'm going to wear with um, skirts. Anyway, um, with dresses, I like a snip toe. I like the, not the super pointy toe, because sometimes you can get a little crazy with the cowgirl boots and the pointy toes. But these I love, the original design, kind of vintage style. Um, they're like a, not necessarily like, I wouldn't necessarily call this a camel, but they're really pretty. This beautiful design. These are a wooden heel. My other ones are a rubber sole because I'll be wearing those more for work than I will these. I'd be afraid because I have some clients that have um, darker hair color. I would be really afraid of um, dropping color on these. But the black ones I'll wear all day long, no problem. Um, I bought, I originally, I'm a big um, Doc Martens fan. And I originally bought Doc Martens thinking, you know, I'll spend the money for them and I'll wear them um, for work or to ride the motorcycle or whatever. And they will not break in. I've had them for months. Like I'm, and now I'm moving on to like probably two and a half to three months that I've had them and two pairs of socks, beating them against concrete, and then shining them to make them shiny, and they will not, they absolutely will not break in. I still have a sore spot on the top of my arch and a sore spot on my heel because on me, Doc Martens get a fold right at like, like right here on my tendon. They fold over from where your ankle is, just like these boots kind of have. And um, I still have sore spots, and I... I don't understand why. The last pair that I bought were phenomenal. I broke them in. I wore them the six months for school. I wore them to play paintball. Then we went to an indoor field that totally destroyed the boots. The paintballs were like, um, like Elmer's glue. And they just, I'm just sad. I'm so sad about the Doc Martens. But anyway, I got cowgirl boots. Um, I forgot to tell you, these boots, the price tag on them is uh, $240. So go to Long Island Leather and Boots and see what he can do for you. Um, I wish the lighting was better because the color of these boots is just beautiful. And they're a little distressed, but they don't look overworn. Sometimes with cowgirl boots, when you buy them and they come distressed, they look overworn, and I do not like that. Um, I like to wear them myself. I'm that way with jeans. If I want holy jeans, I buy jeans, and then I wear them. But anyway, um, these boots are called Charlie Horse boots. That's, that's the brand name is Charlie Horse. And actually, I ended up buying these in a half size smaller. These are uh, a seven and a half, and my black boots are an eight. These are already, the leather's already really soft. So if I, oh, I got a text message. If I buy them my size, they would have been not broken in. They would have been too wide here, and uh, my foot would have slipped back and forth. You should have a little room at your heel. They should just, I mean, not slip off, but there should be a little movement when you walk, because if they're really tight, the boot ends up folding and it looks really funny and you end up getting sore spots. They should slip just a little bit. It's your boot lesson. Anyway, I love them. Um, I hope this video, I took my computer into Apple um, to see if they could fix the off because I'm off from my mouth to me moving. Um, so hopefully they fix it and I'm getting an order in from Starlets and Harlots, and I'm getting an order in from uh, Shepler's uh, Cowgirl Clothing. Anyway, uh, there I just bought a few summer dresses because they were on sale. They were like 20 bucks a piece, and it's Christmas time, and I'm getting double points on my credit card, or five times the points I'm getting. Anyway, I've ordered some stuff, so I, maybe I'll do a real time and open that stuff um, when it comes in instead of opening it and then showing it to you. We'll see. But anyway, thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.